Oh my gosh, a whole branch broke. Clearly it's not land anymore. Over there is all water. Listen, this is some crazy stuff. What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video here. I'm actually blown away on how much rain we have gotten in the last two days. Listen, this is some crazy stuff. The tropical storms we've gotten in the past, I don't even think had this much rain. The streets by my house are nothing in comparison to what I'm about to show you later on. The streets are just absolutely filled with water, and this is nothing. Look at my yard. Over here ain't too bad. First of all, the water, the, the ground soaked regardless where you go on planet Earth in Florida right now. This kayak my buddy left in my house was empty. Now it's completely full. Now we just rose up this land and as you can see, even that is flooded. There's no avoiding rainfall like this. You have to have some crazy draining to avoid this type of rainfall. Regardless, everyone's houses, at least by my house and down south of Florida, is completely full of water. Mine's on the better side, actually. If you watch Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch, good friend of mine, Blake, his house is literally underwater, like his whole farm. I'm gonna roll a couple clips from Blake's video just to give you an idea on what his property looks like compared to mine. <clears throat> there is all the enclosures. Mountain tortoises, look, they're on the bricks because there's so much, no more uh, land. Literally have to save turtles. You guys remember the chair last time? Where the chair was? Yeah. Well, the chair is completely submerged underwater as well. This is just ridiculous deep. Metal, that metal over there is 24 inches. So if you guys see that 24 inches, it's 24 inches of water there. And then obviously the pond, everything is just so, so, so deep. This is just absurd how much water. I had three people call me last night, different animal people. Go make sure you're checking your animals. Go make sure you're checking your animals because the water in the last two hours has rose another 10 inches. Fluffy's cage, completely under the water. It's just, it's ridiculous. This is just insane. This right here, I don't even think, well, fixing what I was gonna do in the situation would even, this would even help right here. Cause this is just a crazy amount of water. So what we're gonna have to do right now, these guys are good, the water will go down. They have little dry areas, that's not a problem. But I have a lot of wood turtles in there that have areas that don't have dry spots, especially the box turtles. So we're gonna have to go in there and go catch those guys in just a sec move them away because they can't swim forever they are going to get tired and it's not going to last long but we have to come over here and i'm going to show you what the goat area looks like how i just stacked it all up and everything look at this what do the goats have to do be acrobats and go across they can't they hate the water so much like that's how they have to go across <clears throat> look at this that is insane. I just did this for them. The chickens are scared to go across too, so they're following the goats. So now that you have seen Blake's property, um, that's crazy. My hogs are kind of in that predicament. I mean, the whole thing is filled with water. Wow. Look at the top. Oh my goodness. I'm about to show you the pond over there that we just dug recently. That thing is to the max. The duck enclosure barely has any land. Look how muddy it is. Over there is all water. The whole thing. Just this right here is land. And a little bit right there. It's all filled in my fountains underwater. You can see it kind of tilting and going the opposite way. We got a duck house right here that we still need to set up as well. All the ducks we got in the last video are all right there still. They haven't really hungry, what's the word, with my ducks, but they will soon, I promise. Ready? Don't gotta throw it that far. It's all water. Pigs keep on chucking mud in my face as they jump up on the fence. That fountain is not looking too good. You guys all waiting for me? They're all waiting for me to drop. Gotcha. And honestly, the enclosure, the big enclosure is not that bad. I guess over here is a little bit, but it's not really flooded at all, which is good. Oh, it's so nasty. What is flooded is Lady May and Mangoes. Watch out, girl. She sits right here every time. Hello, everyone. You guys are all over the place, huh? Boots is out here with everyone. Everything is soaked. Thankfully, they have a bunch of shavings on the ground over there, which probably keeps it a bit more drier. And then over here, the salt rock completely fell off the rope. I'm going in. Hi. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'll stay back. 
God, Gary is so mean. Look how high the water is. The dock is by land, like literally. I wonder how deep it is now that it's full. <gasps> That pond, I wonder how deep it is now that it's full. So you can see, we have literally water. It's a stream, it's actually flowing. I'm at the back of the pond now, the duck pond, and you can see how filled up all this is. Usually I'm standing on land right now. Clearly it's not land anymore. That's incredible. Tree broke down. Oh dang. Oh my gosh, a whole branch broke. Wow, that's gnarly. We got the ducks swimming over there like literally by the By the trees and stuff typically we don't get this much rain obviously So I have a little drainage pipe that goes into this drainage canal But the drainage canal has overflown and this is what happens when that happens. Holy blinding. So a look at the duck pond It's full as full could be. Florida is so bipolar that it is now just kind of overcast, but not raining Get out of here Now let me show you the new pond that was dug the other day. This sucker is bomb to the top, brim full. Holy, oh, over here, it's not that bad though. If you think about it, once sod's here, this is the heaviest rainfall we'll probably get in a long, long time. Well, the water starts right here and we're at the gate. Let's just put it that way. It's, oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh, dude. I don't even know where the pond is. That's the ledge for the pond, I know that. It just drops off right after that. Let's see, oh yeah, okay, there's knee deep right there. That's not the pond though. This is not the pond, by the way. I am walking by the mango tree. Think about the amount of raindrops that need to happen in order to do this. That is crazy. Guys, our pond is like right there. Like right there. And it's all this. He's drinking up, huh bud? That is just crazy to me. Let's see where the pond is at. Slowly going down. And I bet you now that it's, I mean this is a lot more filled than I'll have it filled, but once it's like this high, it's probably like nine feet deep right there. Right there is our deepest point. And there's a deep point over here too. You definitely ain't touching bottom, I'll tell you that. Well. I just picked up a molly off the ground right there. Put him back in, it was still alive. Our painted turtle is on the brim here. Chilling, literally chilling right there on the brim. I don't even know how many could have got out of this last night. I gotta unplug it, I never even thought of that. See that? You know what? The next body of water anything we go into is the pool. So let's look in the skimmer. Oh, look at that. How did I know? Come here, both the bigger turtles. Oh my spider right there. No thank you. Okay, that's it for that. See this pond right here with the snapping turtles and stuff has a little hole right here. It drains out of, which I couldn't do that on this pool pond of course, but yet never really came to my mind that I was gonna pour that much. Happened at 4 a.m. last night, four o'clock in the morning. You can see all our fish down there. The water is nasty. Gotta do a full clean out. Another little yellow belly over there. You never got out. Oh, okay, so there's a good amount still in here. Another one. This water's just gonna drain. I'm gonna let it just keep going out until it's super low just in case we get any more rain over the next few hours, but, geez. The front pond, everything's murky because it has all this water going into it, obviously, from the soil. You know, considering how much it rained and looking at, look at that. I got very lucky. Luck comes in hand and the amount of money that I spent on dirt to come into this house so that stuff wouldn't happen, that also comes in hand. You can't avoid the amount of rain. For instance, Blake's house got though. They got a lot more rain than we did. We didn't get that much rain, thankfully. This is about probably as worse as I've seen around here, honestly. <laughs> I've seen some people's yards around my house completely flooded. This is pretty bad right here. But it's where I have no animals. It's the corner of my yard and the pond just kept on filling up because obviously I mentioned in the last video that we needed to do some sort of drainage and we don't have either one of those yet. This is a brand new pond. So I think once we do have a pipe running out to a drainage canal, stuff like this would be less likely to happen. But hey, it happened and I'm actually kind of cool. <laughs> I won't lie. I tell you what though, this is a disaster for someone that maybe like my neighbors over here that have horses and stuff. That would probably, anyway. The yard is a disaster. I do want to get a drone view though because I haven't seen it on the drone, so.
What I should go do is get a What I should do is get a skim board. Well, time to skim board. I'll tell you what, if we fall, it's all shell and rock, so it probably wouldn't feel too good. But we're gonna send it anyway. <laughs> Yo, it's so sick. That is a lot more fun than I thought it was. I'm gonna do it again. Oh. Beach myself. <laughs> I could do this all day. All right, I'm out of breath, but I want to skim into the deep end and kind of just disappear. Set you up right there. I'm probably gonna disappear like right out there. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised there's an alligator in here. Ooh, yeah, no. You can't even touch the bottom. That is a workout. My backyard flooded, fellas. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure you drop a like. Go to my vlog channel. Subscribe there. I just surprised my dad with this dream car. What do you think, Dad? Oh, just, just so you know. That is not out yet. That video will be going live probably tomorrow. Until next time, fellas. See you in the next one. Peace out. misjudged that ledge, I'll tell you that. Love y'all. <laughs>